This discovery came in for a correction and coding. It was $1,300 and we had it for two days. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you a breakdown of the process, give you some tips of how we think about the prep process, and overall give you, give you some advice that you can apply into your business. If you are interested in starting your detailing business, download the ultimate guide to start your detailing business. It has over 10,000 words of pure content in this guide. I thought about turning it into like an actual physical book and sell it on Amazon. But for now, if you want to get it, click the link down in the description box and download it. Let's go ahead and get started with this video. When it comes to corrections and coatings, we want to get through the prep process as fast as we can without skipping any steps because the main part we need to focus on is the correction, polishing, and if it's a coating, uh, uh, installing the coating. Now, this isn't to say we're going to cut corners, but the like of the entire process of the correction and coating part, of course, the prep process of removing contaminants, making sure everything is set before the correction is important, of course. But the biggest part of the entire process is getting the swirls removed, panel prepping to make sure there's no oil, and then installing the coating. So on all these detailed breakdowns that I do, and I'm showing you this process, like we're moving pretty quickly to get through the prep process. On videos, we slow it down a little bit just because we don't want to seem like maniacs. But on the prep process, we don't. We try to like to really get through this as quickly as we can. Now, when you're detailing by yourself versus when you're detailing with one other person, the system is quite different. And I say this all the time, Say if there's two or three people working is as something is finishing, something else is starting. So as Angel is rinsing, as soon as one panel is rinsed, Lex is going to go ahead and start claying. Or once we are done claying, the next person will immediately start to rinse. Or as the last panel is being rinsed, the other person is already beginning to dry with a towel or dry with a blower. So you want to keep the process moving as efficiently as you can. Now we're going to dry the vehicle with a microfiber drying towel and our Adams Polishes air blower. This is our go-to blower for unit 105. In unit 104, we have the big boy blower, but this one does a great job for the size that it is. This is also the time where we're gonna wipe down the door jams, wipe down the wheels, dress the tires, and do these minor details before we move into the bigger process of the correction and polishing. For the correction, we went with a few different options just because some panels required a bit more work than others. Some we did a full two-step correction with a cutting phase and then the polishing. Some other panels just needed a lighter cut so we weren't as aggressive. This typically doesn't happen all too often, but just because you have one method for a certain panel doesn't mean you have to follow that process everywhere. This is something you want to be aware of because one, you're able to save time and not do the full process on every single panel if it doesn't need it. But two, you're also able to save clear coat on the vehicle just because you don't have to go with as aggressive as a method throughout the entire vehicle. This vehicle wasn't in terrible condition. It had a little bit of water spots across some panels. It had some light scratches, but you can already tell that the gloss is really coming out of this paintwork. Keep 
And here's how the paint work looks with the correction and polishing. We still need a panel prep and apply the ceramic coating, but it's looking fantastic. I wanna say we removed around 90-ish, 95% of the swirls and scratches. It wasn't, again, too bad of a condition in the first place. Now, if you're new to ceramic coating, this is a step that you can't skip. I mean, there's a lot of things you can't skip, but you have to panel prep the paintwork. That way you remove any of the oils or polishes that may be on the paint. This is what people call, refer to as naked paint to where it's just bare bone paint. There's no protection, no polish, no, no polish residue, no oil residue. It's just bare paint. That way when you apply the ceramic coating, it's strictly adhering to the clear coat of the vehicle and nothing is getting in between. Now it's time to install the ceramic coating. We're using the Shine Supply Beadlock Pro for all the exterior surfaces. And these are the after results. We still have a few touch-ups here and there, but this is basically the finished product. The customer picked up this vehicle at 5.30 the same day we had for two days. And he was absolutely happy with this vehicle. And he actually booked in another vehicle for us to service. Not a correction coding, but we're so happy. He was happy with the results. That's gonna wrap up this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you have a question about the process, the pricing, the products? Let me know and I'll make some content in the future. And I've shared this on my Instagram, but we have the uh, some of the products in for our uh, product line. This is the Everyday Car Soap. Won't share too much about that. There's a few others right there. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you on the next one.